Yardy Belly is alive. Live with the cooking, we're live in the kitchen. Live, live, live. Yardy Belly is alive. Yardy Belly TV live. Cooking, cooking, cooking. Yardy Belly is cooking. Cooking in the morning and cooking in the evening. We're cooking, cooking, cooking. Yeah, man. Yardy Belly is cooking. Yardy Belly TV, we're cooking, cooking, cooking now. Good evening, one and all. Good evening to you. Mm -hmm. I know there's probably not much people on because everybody is in reaction mode. Watching, you know, glued to their TV, right, babes? Right. But nonetheless, we do what we do. Yeah? We have cooked some food today and it turned out that the food is going to be like celebration food. Yeah? Because we have seen a glimmer of justice and it is refreshing to see a little smidgen of justice, even a little slight smidgen of justice. It is a refreshing thing. You know, I, I'm not an advocate or I'm not a, um, what you call it, see? The people them who, who um, take up causes, like, you know? Right, and yet, I watch this one with bated breath to see if America was going to be shocked and dismayed at a system that we all have gotten, to, well, most of us have gotten to the place of mistrust. But as you may very well have known by the, the shooting of this video, that the Derek Chauvin, Chauvin the, the police officer involved in the death of George Floyd has been found guilty on all counts. And based on the evidence, which was blatantly clear, and the witnesses and all America who respect life, you know, justice is served in this capacity. Um, so we celebrate our small, small victories. Good evening to you, wherever you are. Again, this is a, an, an, an um, uh, celebration type of video. Now, just down the road from where George Floyd was murdered, another little boy was killed. And his death was deemed accidental by the person, the woman who shot him. She said she was planning to tease him and instead she fired her gun because after being on the force for 15 years, the teaser and the gun look the same and weigh the same. What happened, babe? Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. so that's what it is. All right, so today we're making we're making some ghetto oxtail and ghetto oxtail ladies and gentlemen without any doubt without if you never knew this ghetto oxtail is turkey neck all right that's it ghetto oxtail is turkey neck and um if you're living in jamaica or belong to jamaican society you know when the money are run away and when oxtail price gone through the roof which it is right now you see me some nine dollar pound thing you have to draw for the good old ghetto oxtail so today we're making some ghetto oxtail with butter bean may not even know the brand the brand butter bean there but hey anyway butter bean they will go find it so i took the liberty because this video can down is gonna be um not too long not over the top we just i cook the food and you know, Good I took, evening. I'm sorry. Good evening, Roma Martin. Bless you. Prayer kid. Bring up yourself. Good evening. Prayer kid. Manners and respect here, sir. Again, victory. Guilty charge is found on the person who strangled George Floyd to death and find him guilty for all charges. And we, 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 we applaud you know that small smidgen of justice that we have received 
as the people of the country. And this is not a, this is, I don't even think it's a black people thing. I, I don't want to categorize it as just a black victory. I want to categorize it as a victory on humanity. Because for a trial to last, for, for a situation to be one um, a year, one full year, and a man just been declared guilty. When the whole world see it one year ago, you know, it shows how far apart we are from the reality of life. And, and people trying to prove what, that what you saw on the video, what me see on the video was not what we see. It's crazy. All right, let's get into the meat of the matter. See, show them what I'm going to No pun intended. Get into the meat. The meat of the matter. So, we don't normally do not worry about meat, meat, but when we do, this is what we do. Good things. All right, so I season up the meat. I put some garlic, some scallion. I put some um, uh, Moore's marinade. I'm going to show them some of the stuff that I use, darling. I can't find it. I think I put the four the Moore's right here. Send me. Honest, you do. Devana, good evening to you, girl. Good evening, neighbor. All right, so the most important uh, marinade was this, Moore's marinade. If you've never tried this before, you need to try it. It's, it's, it's a little bit more potent than so soya sauce or um, Worcestershire sauce. It's not salty, overly salty, but it's very, very good. It works. And so I put Moore's marinade, garlic powder, um, a little bit of salt, and uh, you know the regular seasoning, some garlic and stuff. I'm use a little bit of a miracle seasoning, mm -hmm. and that is what you see there. This is thyme. I'm just gonna throw the thyme in there. So this, the pepper. I'm just do the pepper for the thumbnail to make it look good, you know. And then I'm gonna just basically, this is how easy this dish is gonna be. We're gonna throw it in that pot. I'm coming around. You understand? We're going to throw this in another pot and just make it just stew. You see me? So, I don't really want you to come too close because... I love that sound. Did you mention what kind of turkey neck it is? No. Okay. Because turkey neck, a turkey neck. You know? This particular turkey neck, guys, was smoked. So it does have that nice... Um, hickory type of flavor, yeah. Finally, but I think they're not going to give him much. That's the thing for a kid. That is the caveat. You see, the I trick mean, is this: you know, appease the crowd, but at the same time, don't make the man suffer. You understand? The, the perpetrator now will suffer. Appease the crowd. So, because mm -hmm. the whole world are wait to see what they're gonna do. Let us do it. Yes, I mean, uh, Amino says that he didn't look phased. He had no emotions. He didn't look surprised. Because we're back, we're back. So, I don't know. I mean, and there's a word that they use that says unintentional. That's why I'm getting um, degree, second degree and third degree. Yeah. That's why I never get flat out murder. Unintentional. You see me? Suffocation or killing of, of George Floyd. So that might make all the difference for real. Lala, good evening to you, girl. Claudette VT, bless you. Are you showing the people in the pot, babes? Hmm? Exactly, man. Looking well, comfortable. You are showing them in the pot? For real. Yeah, I'm seeing. Pot look good. All right. So, guys, when you do this thing now, you just really want to well, make a lighting problem? Not really. Oh. When you do this thing, you can't come close now because it's not like how they expect. So right now you're just basically gonna make this um, turkey neck spring some water. You know every meat carry a little set, a little level of water. So we're not gonna do much with it right now. Start stew. So we just leave it there. So while we go and cut up something, I will talk about life. You know, it's amazing. Looking good and yummy. <laughs> it's amazing that you know living in this country, I've been been made to realize some very 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 serious um things you know that there is two different brands of justice you know one for the poor and then other one for the poor and then another brand of justice for the the minority you know you have poor justice different from minority justice and and depending on on both cases it's just it's crazy trust me 
Because had this been an affluent person's death, the system would have wrapped up the case a long time. You know the way they see? Yeah, they would have deal with it and wrap up the case a long time and no none the, nobody would have been, you know, um rioting and all of that because whoever do it would have just gone to jail. You know? And the video would not have been questioned. It would have been allowed and, and, and nobody no cross question nothing and it would have just been dealt with. You know? But here we have a a, a, a poor black man, you know publicly executed you know man sit down on the man's neck and the the, 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 the the doctor say even after the man dead three minutes up to three minutes after the man dead the policeman still sit down with him him foot on the man's neck up to three minutes the little girl the little nine-year-old girl testify and say when the ambulance come when the paramedics come them, them asked him nicely to move after that man neck. And the man wouldn't move and the man them have to literally push him off of the man neck. The man have him knee on the man neck all when the medical practitioners come and say, can you please take your foot off the man neck so we can treat him. The policeman still have him foot on the man neck. That time the man is motionless. And it's presumed to be lifeless. You know, that in itself shows a level of audacity. You understand? That I cannot come to grips with. I cannot fast, um, I cannot conceive how a man have a literal look on another human being and do that to him. And, and it's not bad at him. Yo, that is crazy. But I held my peace. Because I honestly am surprised at the, the verdict. Irrespective of the fact that they tried it and all of that. Mm -hmm. Karen Matasil, good evening to you. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Um, Claudette VT is an unfair system. Trust me. Roxbury, good evening. I just can't understand it. What was going on in the in Chauvin's? I'm, I'm thinking. Boy, I mean, I know it looked like him did all the pan drugs. May I tell you, Roxbury? That look like no, that are no drugs. That is a must possession. Boy, must it could possess. be anything because may I tell you, if, if, if you kill a man like that, you know, with, with a smirk on your face, knowing you know what I'm your hand in your pocket. That's just yo, cool. trust me. Ashley Lubin, good evening, Ashley. How are you, girl? Ashley, we're making a little, little food, a little dinner, you know? We're making a little dinner. Quick food, we're making some stew. Yeah, and we're trying to, we, 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 in Jamaica, we call this ghetto oxtail. All right, <laughs> ghetto oxtails. It way cheaper than oxtail. It gives you the same type of end result, though. It's shaped like oxtail. <laughs> Ratberry says she was one and anything that and drugs too. For real. For real. So you want to just cut your carrots into, into bite-sized manageable chunks. And you're stewing carrots, you know, cut them up too fine. And I, I unfortunately I I'm, I'm stuck in my Asian um style, so that's why I always cut them from the bias. But by right, you know, really have to cut them from the bias. You just cut them normally across. So. So forgive me, it's the Asian, the Asian vibes of me and that. You know? The Asian. Mm -hmm. So I have my, 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 I have my carrots, my bell pepper, my scallions. I have some onion. Yeah, turn it. Let me show them, let me show them what I go on the pot here. So guys, see they, they, they get the oxtails and put them on and then start to stew them. Grab the, the, the container set, the, yeah, the, the wife just have turn them now. And we just have to make them go and do them thing, you know. The only thing missing from it is the fat to make it the oxtail. Yeah, because we never really, and, and I did a, a lot of prep work with it. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, we don't really like the fat, 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 so. 
And guys, the reason why you see the red like that is because this is the smoked turkey neck. We had, um, I got the smoked turkey neck and so we're gonna utilize it. And of course, this is also good if you're making stew peas and you don't want to use pigtail, you can use the smoked turkey neck in the stew peas. It really good, don't no? Yeah, it look good man trust me and it smell good to it see guys oh smell good official jamia hi girl how are you so yeah man and the next thing that i really want to, to point out another very important um side to this conversation is the role of the media i think i think the media is is not i i, I am unfortunately just so uncomfortable with their style the style of reporting nowadays and and the method where them go behind like them a play the line you know you know see mm. i think they them 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 play the line so if if the public opinion sways towards the police all of a sudden them find reasons to vilify you know the the victim mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know if the public opinion sways now then all of a sudden them start to pull up um good things about the the, the victim Right. You know, so even going into the, the, the verdict a while ago, they, they were pulling up on things that it's like, you know, them trying to create a reasonable doubt across the board so that, you know, if you if, if the, the verdict never right, at least then prepare you, then prep your end. Right, right, right. You know, so that is manipulation to some extent. And I, I, I'm honestly not too fond of it at all, at all, you know. Glad it said the axe tail, the, the turkey neck, um, the turkey neck, um, delicious too. Can you use pork neck? Pork neck? Where's the... John Doe. Um, John Doe, I think you can, the thing is, 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 is the, the style of cooking is, is more important than the meat. However, most Jamaicans may not necessarily use pork neck in any um, major dish. Oh, pork neck look. It just look like almost like pig chatters. Big one for bony bony. I've never seen or heard of it. I know there's a man. neck, but a man. It's the man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, pork have neck, man. Remember the pig have neck? Even though it, it, it then can't really lift up their neck. It's delicious too. Media isn't interested in reporting anymore. They only care about what? selling ad time. <laughs> Trust me. I have all some. Right. What do you call this? We have some spinach. <clears throat> this spinach is, I think. An Asian spinach, it's not the one that we're used to. The size is way bigger and the leaves shape weird. Mm -hmm. But them say it's spinach, so by faith, I buy it and I'm gonna cook it like spinach. <laughs> <laughs> but I like I like the um the Chinese type vegetables. Yeah, I like mm -hmm. the Chinese type vegetables because they're nice. All right, so now the initial um, water dry out. I'm going to add some more water to deglaze the pot. Because some good, nice things are going on from the bottom of the pot now. You, know. you see it? This is mm -hmm. pot. These are the gravy. The, the first step to the gravy now at the bottom of the pot right there. So I'm going to add some more water. So two shot glass of water. And unlike <laughs> regular oxtails, you don't have to cook this overly long all right the meat is already somewhat tender and it it is it's, um it's not necessarily falling off the bone yet but you're just gonna basic, basically allow this to stew till it, it, it gets to that comfort level and i'm just pulling on it the meat now to release all of that flavor that has been built up on the bottom of the pot yeah mm -hmm. Now, as for oxtail, the oxtail color, I have my little sauces and stuff all prepped and ready to go that will provide the color. And of course, Jamaicans, we use a little browning and all of those things. So the color will, will build. I don't necessarily want to deepen the color too quick. All right. We got to wait for the deepening. 
of the color. I'm going to add a little bit more of my, my Moe's Marinade, just a little bit, a cap coat. White smell, good man. Don't do. Mm -hmm. So guys, I just added a cap full of, of the Moe's Marinade. And the wifey is, you want to come over here, come cut up that leaf. The shift around so you, you, you can have them and see. Just a rough chop it. It have a long stalk. So it, it kind of give me Kalaloo vibes because of the, the long um, stalk. It, it cooks easily though. That's one thing with it. It cooks very easy. Easy cooking. So we are now in the habit of just going to the Asian supermarket and grabbing a bunch of, even the ones that we don't really know or we're not too familiar with, we try them out. Yeah, we take, up, we take them up and try them out. Dandelion root greens and all these greens. <clears throat> yeah. And guys, we've been into this whole balance eating. Thing now where and it worked yeah we put in like four or five different things on the plate nowadays may i tell you it so, worked, man. so that way you have a better eating experience you don't get bored with your food number one and you eat a more balanced diet less because, rice and yeah you know yeah so this is what the, the spinach look like so it look And this I'm going to steam just like how you steam any old vegetable. Raspberry say I oh oh oh, oh I, I, I just can't understand what's going on. They took a look, they look a little like mustard green. John um John Doe asks, where did I get the turkey neck? Do you have to go to a specialty butcher? All right, so John Doe, I got the turkey neck actually from uh, at my church sister, um, um, but she got the, got the turkey neck from a butcher. All right, it was a, a, a it wasn't a regular supermarket. However, I must tell you that smoked turkey neck and smoke and, and turkey parts are available at some of the Latin American stores like Bravo. Presidente and those stores in South Florida. So if you're in another state, you want to check a, a, a Latin store, you know, one of them Spanish style supermarket for mm -hmm. for um the, the way in there. The for the turkey neck. Where's the eam? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pray I can say boy, I'm unbalanced. <laughs> <laughs> you must eat balance, put more things. Put like a piece of avocado. Put a little bit of greens. May I tell you guys, Michelle do me well. She doing me well around here. May I do you well? Yes, you're doing me well, may I tell you. I <laughs> feel so healthy and, and wealthy and wise. We need training wheels um, to hold me in balance <laughs> in my eating. Wow, wow. I don't think it's a bad prayer again. Come on. You are using this book? Oh. Were you using this? Mm, no. Okay. This is another one that we love, love, yeah. love. Yeah, that's another green. These are smaller, as you can see, it, meaning it don't have the long stem, but it have a whole, you know, a um, lot of greens, greenery. And this is the Chinese kale. Oh, my God. It's so good. This is to live for. You make you want to talk Chinese. <laughs> like, Chinese, hi, I'm over here. So, I'm going to add it to it. And yeah. And guys, let me tell you something. I, I personally love the fact that I can go into an Asian supermarket. Now, I'm gonna be real. Looking at this whole, oh, my butter beans are ready too. Looking at, you can switch, switch that. Looking at this whole George Floyd um, issue, and also the fact that we have been seen as a as, as surge in in crime against Asian, we're gonna talk a little bit about the fact that have you ever, as a black person, experienced any type of racial tension from an Asian person? If you're a black person, an African American, or, a, or a, a, an original African native, a black man, 
or woman, and you have been in an Asian establishment, do you get any type of racial tension? You know? I have I have experienced um, what I describe as just a bad attitude, but I've never interpreted it interpreted it to be any type of a racism. Maybe just, just a general bad attitude. I just think that they are. Or they have no manners or they don't know how to talk to people and then fight. You mean that particular person? No, all of them. And I and it happens a lot. In a lot of establishment when you go, they're just sometimes very sharp with you. Or, you know, not very nice, not very kind, not very um entertaining. Mm -hmm. You understand? Know mm -hmm. Somewhat of an impatient type vibe with with, them. with certain customers. I don't know, I don't look for no other customer, but with, with, you understand? I've never, right. yeah, probably I haven't stopped to observe the general, um, how them generally operate with anybody else. But I've, I've noticed the behavior, but I've never interpreted, you know, interpreted to be. No, Rox, Roxbury says, we're in Florida, why don't we buy a um, grow up patch of Kalalu? Well, well we, somebody give it a seed. <laughs> We need some kalalu seed. We haven't started our um, vegetable garden yet. We don't know why we start with our flowers garden first, but... <laughs> because vegetable garden takes a lot more. We have to, we have to wait in there. We have to get the rabbit um, wire. Oh, yeah, 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 guys. We have rabbits, you know, hopping around the place on a daily basis. So we have to, you know, consider all of that. Make sure, say the area is properly secured so that them don't eat out the, 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 the lettuce and the color low and all these things so yeah is that the man giving a speech no man the man gone to jail oh i'm okay again so hold on must be one of the lawyers clothes and everything so <clears throat> wild rabbits yeah yes john do right so Right, you want to Do you have any garlic for me? Mm-hmm. Garlic. I need some garlic. Don't go too close to heat up the thing. Alright, so now I reach this stage. I'm going to add in my onion. Because again, I want my onion to pretty much cook in the cookout. You know? So. And I can't tell it, I can't tell say it tastes good already, you know, trust me. I don't know. It just smells like it tastes good. <laughs> the food yeah. smells like it tastes good. Yeah, and it, it looks like, like it tastes, tastes good. good. Mm -hmm. And it sounds like it tastes good. Too. Yeah, then let me see, I'm trying to find a little <laughs> piece and I can um, sample. I like seeing the rabbits in our area. So cute. For real, they're so cute. Oh, no, baby. Babes, mm -hmm. you don't want to taste this. I'm not an island talk. I'm not ask Christ. Hold on, then. Mm -hmm. give one little piece. I'm not Sample ask Christ. Time. I want to cook a little bit more because the sinews. So guys, don't sleep on the turkey neck. May I tell you that? Why so nice? Can you manage the hummy vibe? A little hum vibe. It's a little hum tasting vibe. That's the smoking technique. Rabbit is good. It's good eating. Magdi. It's true, it's true, but we don't know them are really, so that's why I'm afraid. Rabbit? Yeah. Mm. Wild animal in general. Alright, may I put more water? More water. And there's a method to my madness. Because I'm I'm gonna just allow this to, to cook down now. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna start adding my stuff then. Uh yeah. I need to start here and green this. Okay, I'm gonna cover this. Cover me, I'm gonna shift this pot, all this. Yeah, She gonna she gonna saute our greens now guys. So once again, good evening to each and every one. We are still listening to you know press brief and all of that. 
on the George Floyd um, situation. But I just want people to be aware that as a black man in this country, there, and at first, a responsible black person too, because there are some people who are all unconcerned and they don't see that the news somewhat is proverbially tightening on you know blatant um, misdeeds against our, our inappropriate actions against black people perpetrated by you know um, those who are supposed to be our protector. I'm always concerned and considering the possibilities, especially with a young son, a son who is just going into manhood and realizing that. You know, sometimes a simple, um, you know, innocent traffic stop or, or a somewhat simple in, encounter can end up become life threatening when you are a person of color, black or brown. We have seen so many examples. If you want some of that onion bit, we have seen so many examples of, you know, people who are Caucasian, who are not minority who blatantly disrespect police, blatantly abuse police um, procedures and our orders, and, um, and they get away with it. They walk away scotch-free, you know? But a black person is treated with such disdain, such anger. You know, I saw a young man yesterday, a video of a young man yesterday who was being detained, and while he was being detained he had his hand behind him and because the cops could not he there's a big body person and when they're trying to put on the, the handcuff or let look for me see if i'm if somebody's supposed to try to handcuff me uh -huh. it's gonna be a difficult task because my shoulders are, are wide and that was the case to the young man and let me tell you something over six or seven policemen jump on the little youth kick him foot and drop him now the guy wasn't resisting at all you know but there was a difficulty putting on the handcuffs because of his, his size. Right. And then jump on him, Mr. Man. And then one policeman proceeded to start striking him with a closed fist in him face. I thump the man in him face. I thump the man in him face. And all this time they are being videoed. And the worst thing about it is this the, 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 the policeman who aid and abet his, his counterparts who are doing this terrible thing. Because what they do is they go stand up in front of the camera. Mm -hmm. I'm going to stand up in front of the camera for block you and obscure the view so that their dirty deeds cannot be recorded in its entirety. Those things are, it's just terrible. It's inhumane to treat other human beings this way. And when you are a policeman, sometimes you are, you are indoctrinated so that even the people of color and black, brown and Asian people, them, them do the same thing. Them do the same exact thing perpetrate the same thing you know and so those things always weigh on my 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 mind you know if my if an encounter with them would turn that way i you know and so we, we take the necessary precautions as much as possible the bible says as much as it depends upon you live peaceably with one another and and that's all we can do just live as peaceably as possible but for this this individual who we sat down and watch for nine minutes just 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 strangle out the life out of a man. Him supposed to go to jail. Him supposed to just not tell the truth. You know? And and I, I saw where Florida and a couple other states enacted an anti-riot law and all these things. And I'm like, wow. You are putting in laws to regulate and dictate to those persons who are hurting, who are feeling the pain. You are putting in laws to regulate them instead of making sure that the perpetrator and the person who caused these pains is brought to justice. Crazy. Crazy. Now let's see what happened with the sentencing. Because I'm going to say, well, you're guilty of second degree murder, so we just have put you away for um, five years and then under the, the law of the different con um, state where you're in, a, you're eligible for parole in three months. And them way they run. And that, me, that's why I mean hop, me not jump up and down and I say, way and I go like celebration. Cause there's always a technicality. Always a technicality to cause the justice finna just run through. You know what I mean? You're guilty, but 
you're not really guilty, but you know, you're guilty, but not really guilty. So, anyway, we are cooking up still. And the wife here yeah, make her. Yeah, cook yeah we get to ask still. <laughs> and the wife here yeah, gonna make her, her, her thing right now. Yeah. And guys, me no know, me and her always war because she don't like to use oil. This it need more oil be. Oil for what? We mean oil for what? Guys. People on the on the internet, can you please tell my wife that the pot need a little bit more oil? It's a non-stick pot. Can somebody help me, please? I need help. Help me, please. Help. Help me, please. Don't yet till the people them answer. I'm not going to put no more oil. You let them answer. I'm going to put this every day. Official Jamia say a little bit more. Roma Martina said no more oil. Roma man. You're not supposed to support me. So this sauce here with just a little bit of garlic, onion, and ginger. That's it. And then I add a little bit of. Jando says these things have been going on for a long time. And it's just because people just start seeing it now with camera, make it look like it that it knew. Mm -hmm. It's true, from way back in the 60s, 70s. This is garlic powder she put in. And let me see what. Um, Mark D says, not that I wouldn't be violent towards people that threaten me and mine, but he can only fight when he has to. True that, true that, big, big man thing, true that, you understand? Jojo P says, no more aisle, you know, fry the greens them. Jojo man, wanna stop, stop supporting a man in the no aisle campaign. All right, let me tell you where you can put, you can put butter. Oh, what about butter? She can put little butter. I think the butter can work. Butter. Um, That's it. You don't need nothing more in this thing. Thank you, Mr. Sauce. Please. You don't need nothing more. You don't put no salt? You don't need no salt. You must know. She put sugar. You see, on the support, I make sure I get out of hand now. Look how far she gone now. I put sugar in the greens. Eh? Like a sweet greens, I eat. I nah stop because you're really something now. She put in, what is she put now? Everglades seasoning. Just a little bit. This, that make with alligator. Guys, on a Kia, on encourage her to do these things because she, she will go all out. Look how the something dry. It needs water. It needs oil. Mm -mm. Everything I put to oil is here, babe. I don't like oily greens. Oily greens, me no want no oily greens. Oily greens, me no want no oily greens. Eat me greens with um um. Me can't remember the words. <laughs> this can lock off now, wanna be? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Guys, don't you supposed to lock it off now? Can you all please help me? Your your web venture, come on, but what am I going to eat? Guys, and this is where your, your greens, Mr. McCann, stop the flash, disable the flash. Oh, the flash look better. It better better on the flash. But this is where you you want your greens to be at that bright stage. You can saute with a little water, yeah. but the result will be different. She's using now toasted sesame, toasted sesame seeds. seeds as the finishing. See there? See there? See there, guys? That's the greens. Green, 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 green. green. All right, make we take a look for me. Ghetto axe tail. Ghetto axe tail now is almost ready now to colorize. Time for the colorization of the ghetto hox tails. Got rice and peas and corned beef. <laughs> Who will make rice and peas and candy? <laughs> Magdi. That sounds good in the evening. Yeah. May I you tell you the truth? You never eat that yet? Rice and peas with candy. We always eat corned beef with white rice. With white rice, yeah? Or yam and dumpling. Alright guys, so see them now. See them now. Now you want to start adding in some of your vegetables now. Vegetable time guys. Your carrots. Add in my carrot. I just see carrot alone. I add in now. 
You make spinach, spinach going to act still? Sometimes, but you don't have to. It's optional. Oh, it's optional? Mm-hmm. Okay. This is looking so W. <laughs> <laughs> Who says so? Good. <laughs> I mean, no, it was a typo, you know, but I just had to read it that way. <laughs> this is looking so good. Magdi said dumplings. Yes, girl. Yeah. Who said Magdi a girl? Sorry. Magdi. Magdi, Type sorry. M R F. Yeah, make we get it correct. Because Magdi, if you're a girl, me I go answer you like girl. Magdi, we do put spinners in hoxtail, guys. Guys on the chat that are Jamaican, don't don't you put your spinners in your thingy thing thing? I think so. Some people do. Maybe it's just us. Yeah. Maybe I just we. All right, may I add some paprika? And this is how you start build color now. Thank you, the artigan. Hold on, let me see. The artigan. The artigan. Taft. I like the sweet in my greens if it's balanced with some heat. Okay. She don't like the heat, but she <laughs> loves the sweet. I'm using some cumin like the or heat. cumin. I don't like the heat. I don't like the heat, but give me the sweet. And cumin, guys, can be added to almost every single dish that you make. Um, it, it does make a wealth of difference, you know, mm -hmm. ground cumin. Hi, Beverly Goring. Good evening. Ting, sorry. I'm adding some onion powder. And this is all to build on my oxtail sauce. Mm. This is going to provide a little heat. Badia makes this awesome, awesome dish. Holy it's called smokes. Holy Smokes. And it's our meat rub, but I, I like to add a little bit of it mm -hmm. because it does it give it to a, give a, it that nice meaty barbecue, barbecue type of vibes. vibe, you know. Mm -hmm. And that's that's all we roll around here. We are vibes, vibes people. people. <laughs> Stop mimic me now. <laughs> I'm adding an unusual um thing. It's an it's Angostoria bitters, bitters. and. What it does is brighten the dish with a little bit of a citrusy type of ending. It's not bitter? No. It, well, it's bitter if you drink the bottle. Okay. But if you cook with it, it's more of a citrusy kick. Yeah. You see me? Right. Let me put on this for a moment. You show them that? Mm-mm, I'll show them it. All right, let me look for it. Your friends know which is ketchup. So we have a little bit of wild rice over here. Hello, buddy. You look good. <laughs> you look good. <laughs> you look nah, Let me see if I can go in and show you. Now. Yeah, let me see if I can go in and show you. <laughs> Should we tell them what, what the origin of this rice is? You can, I mean, it's up to you. It's no, it's no Guys, easy. as a disclaimer, this rice <laughs> was not produced in Yardy Belly Kitchen. <laughs> this is actually one of those 90 minute, 90 seconds pack of rice. It's pre, it's pre cooked pre -cooked rice. Pre cooked rice, but I'm tell you guys. It From tastes she, good. No, get, no. Tell the people them were really going because you and Joshua go bust the rice and all of a sudden I try impose impose me. Well, this is the ch one that Joshua loves, but this this guys is really a combination of a pack of jasmine rice and a pack of wild rice. So it's both, and you can see them actually put the cracked. It's real. It's a real deal. Guys, me just I put the disclaimer out there. I am not interested in that rice. And it's not my doing. And this is the one that Joshua really um, discovered first. Earthly Greens is the brand. And this one is roasted chicken flavor with herbs and carrot. Oh la la. May I put it's ketchup? May so I put good. ketchup? Okay. I'm chewing say I love ketchup, man. Make sure you see it. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So you just major your, you just gear your ketchup there, sir. Mm -hmm. Add your ketchup. And then I have this delicious, delicious ingredient here that almost every Jamaican who is a cooker knows them to use. Why are you looking at the fridge for my girl? Hmm? Why are you looking in the fridge? Hmm? 
<laughs> well, dinner is coming. Can't forget one time my grandmother gave me turkey neck for lunch on a school trip. <laughs> Grace Fisher meat no, sauce. No, Sam. I think I did my um, mother did terrible. Yeah, man. Giving me the um, the Arlicks and the cooking oil buckle. Lord, I would throw away that every single day. I would not. You know, so I call, I call I would tell you. not eat lunch at school every single day. May I call your father and tell him say yeah, that's what it the, the, the something. Because I don't know who is going to back out now cooking oil buckle. Not this girl. To drink our Alex. Mm mm. May I tell him? I, I'm gonna tell your father. Give me all right, I'm gonna finish reading so I gotta give me a turkey neck for lunch on a school trip. <laughs> I hide and eat because I was shame. <laughs> no, my dad Germany and me I name up the my turkey neck like it's not normal. For real. <laughs> Trust me, there are some things that we endure as kids. That trust me. Oh, this and look. It looks the sauce look thick. Look at the sauce. I get thick. Mm -hmm. Let me see how I look without the um. Flash. Let me see. If... Right. Heat there. You prefer it without it? It give it a deeper color. Yeah. So. But. I'm going to add a piece Flash. of pepper in there. And guys, this pepper is super duper hot. hot. I'm going to drop a couple pieces of pepper in there because somebody always has pressure me about the pepper. Why you use so much pepper? It's going to hurt me. And it's going to eat it now. If you use too much pepper. I mean, I use too much, you know, look at a little bit of pepper, may I use, don't it? <laughs> nah, so don't you? Yeah. Yeah, it's not rude. Not another word, we're not going to further. Turkey neck for our pepper. Okay, Trina's naming. Go on, Trina. Thank you so Hold much. Up the thing. And, and guys, so, so my, 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 my baby here. Yeah? Hey. Yeah, man, hey. Royal Montego, hey. oxtail seasoning, hey. cheese, hey. and peat. Hey. Hey. Look there, look there, look there, look there. Look there, look there. Look there. Look there. It's seller. Argument done. <laughs> Argument. Is done from that add to the pot you don't know. Say, from me, very... discover, from me, discover the oxtail seasoning, me don't need nothing else in my life. And you know, me have to wash out the buckle, right? Because me now make it waste. Pepper must up. Very, very long time, no see, girl. How you been? How you been? Um, the art and gun, the art of gun. I can't. Taft, okay. Let me say Taft. <laughs> now you're talking, add that pepper. <laughs> Watch your man. Oh, sir. It would have nice with a spin or something. Yeah. Talk cheat. Alright, I'm going to make this simmer look a bit more. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm going to add the butter bean right now. Too. Yeah. I'm going to add the butter bean. Finish, you know? Watch it. And then as, I hate that, you know. Green. Get to axe steel. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Who can't tell you nothing? Who can talk to you? Nobody can talk to me. Nobody can talk to you with this. Hawk steels. Yeah, man. So now you just make it simmer. They call it simmer down. You make the turkey neck simmer down. Cause it looks so good in the patio. Simmer down. Can't you hear what I say? Simmer down. Oh, make the turkey neck simmer down. Old time people them used to say. What sweet nanny go to the running belly so simmer down. Oh, the turkey is singing. Simmer down. Cause the pot looks so nice now. Simmer down. Come me put pepper in there. Simmer down. Oh, why don't you, why don't you, why don't you simmer down? This look good, guys. And it smells so good. You understand? I'm going to go. I'm just going to do a little thing now. Drop some little skeleton. Just, I'm not put the whole skeleton now because I wait till the pot ready. You know? And then the last thing we am going to put when I'm ready now is my, my pepper. Yeah, my bell peppers. Yeah, man. You ready now, babes? All right, I'm carrying it over. Turn it around for me. No, I'm going to need to turn it around for me. All right, there you go. Do you look beautifully? 
Looks so beautiful. Guys, it you already know what it is. Looks fire but needs dumplings. You talk late, man. <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure, why did we talk earlier, Magadi? By the way, that was a great message on Sunday. Thanks, um, official j -Mail. Thank you, appreciate you. Just Dart works. Okay, Dart. All right, Dart it is. Get an ax to you, taking it. I'm here, not awesome, awesome. Anyway, guys. So it's that time of day when we tell you about the one, the only, the one true natural. Yes, yes, yes. One true natural, guys. If you have never heard about one true natural before, let me tell you right now. Today is your lucky day. Today is Why your is today day. your lucky day? Because your life will be changed when you start using one true natural so guys one true natural again is our product line yes this is a natural hair product line of course the products are all natural but regardless of the state of your hair whether it is natural or um it's chemically um altered this product line would be great for your hair also all right, so let's get into the products. We have three products in the line so far, guys. And, <laughs> and, <laughs> we have three products in the line so far. And the first one is the premier product, which is the very first product that, you know, we um, curated, we came up with this one. Um, because we know that healthy hair, hair and healthy scalp is, you know, very important, regardless of who you are, regardless if you're a male or a female, boy, regardless if you're a boy or a girl, you can even use it on your pet's ear, any ear. No, 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 use the product on your dog ear, you're crazy. Hello, you don't know, said so the dog nowadays get more money spent for them than human beings. Oh, you come from? So we are trying so we need to turn down. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. So guys, this is a nourishing oil blend. Yes, it is amazing for scalp massages, which is important again because you want to be sure that you're stimulating the scalp. If you're interested at all in your hair growing, it's important that you stimulate the follicles and get, you know, those um strands growing hold on somebody says shine of mine is awesome mm -hmm. that they use it in their hair awesome amazing amazing yeah so you can use it for a scalp massage you can use it for a hot oil treatment you can use it to seal in the moisture and guys if you're a natural especially you do not want to miss this step sealing in the moisture meaning you're using the oil blend to actually trap the moisture inside of your hair you're using it to lock it in you're using it as a barrier so that when you moisturize your hair it doesn't get dry in a day all right so those are some of the uses the ingredients are all natural some of the favorite ingredients are you know extra virgin olive oil sweet almond oil coconut oil we have some jamaican black castor oil and a, a secret blend of essential oils giving it that nice uh, minty therapeutic smell and feel on the scalp so yeah this is our first product and to add this to your arsenal and to your hair care regimen all right so next we have what i refer to as the no 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 I'm not answer. the big dog yeah the big dog in the line our Jamaican black castor oil and the important thing that you want to pay attention to is the fact that it says pure this is not mixed with any other oils this has no chemicals added this has you know it's just in its purest form and guys let me tell you how authentic the product is we source it directly from the farmer 
and we, we did not source it from Cuba. We didn't source it from Trinidad. We didn't source it from Africa. We didn't source it from um, Italy. Zimbabwe. It is sourced from Jamaica. Hence, Jamaican black castor oil. And that is not something that a lot of the castor oils out there can, can boast. You know, the fact that it is directly from the source, directly from the farm, straight from the farm to the shelf. You know, we have a relationship even with the farmer, and so we know that what, what we're getting is the in its truest, purest form. Right. Right. And this product is amazing for hair growth. It is known to, you know, provide growth and thickness, and it's also one of the only moisturizing oils out there. Like, literally, I can't tell you that um there's another oil out there on its own that can make your hair feel soft but for some reason castor oil make your ear feel soft yeah can my ear feel so soft when we use it okay <laughs> shine up his yeah so jamaican black castor oil get it <laughs> all right <laughs> well you just have to fling something on one side so <laughs> Last but not least, you guys, the baby of the line, yes, we can't get it to focus, is our Jamaican, is our, well, our castor oil mascara, yes, and this is a castor oil based product, but it was designed to be used on the brow and on the lashes, and it is roasted at that perfect degree making it safe to be used on the you know the eye the lashes and the brow so it is not um roasted at the intensity that this one is roasted at so you know this is perfect if you are experiencing any type of um lash loss if your lashes are falling out you know usually you, them off? you can't shave off lash some people shave them oh if you pop up when you put on the, the fan yeah song. if you put you know on the song, you know the song will make it when you're queen your eye fan like your fan down the place <laughs> that when you pull it off it yeah if you're using the lashes and when you take them off which i've experienced that before because yeah i've tried it wearing the individual lashes and they it's out and so yeah this will help to to grow them back and if you you have issues with the thickness of your brows you can use this guys i've been getting rave reviews about this from people who have been using it and seeing results and you guys can order the products individually or you can order the entire set so that you can get the full experience of the one true natural product line yes when you order the gift set we, we ship it to you actually in a gift box with a little free thing on the side a little free item on the side you know just as a thank you and in order to, to order you can visit our website at www dot etsy dot com it's forward there. slash shop forward slash one true natural and it's in the description again it's, w in, the, it's in the chat room it's in the chat www dot com forward slash shop forward slash one true natural and you can follow us on instagram and on facebook at one true natural and for a limited time mm -hmm. those who order an oil or a, 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 a castor oil or a shine of mine will get a sample of our very next product that is coming out. Mm. So we're going to send you a little sample mm. of the very next product that is coming out for a limited time. Mm -hmm. So the next person who order, the next couple of persons who order is going to be gifted. Right. So you earned it from the CEO himself. <laughs> right, guys. And the next product, real quick. Yeah. So one true natural, we take care of your hair. <laughs> <laughs> but guys, we need to take care of the body too. Official Jamia says I'm excited. <laughs> awesome. 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 Did you get yours? Official Jamaica? Yeah, she did. She just said uh, oh, okay. she loved it. The oil is nice. And Ray and all these things. Okay, okay. All right, guys. So, on to our um, Green Valley one-day detox. Now, let, let us tell you a little bit. This is not 
you know our own product line this is not our own brand however yardy belly himself yes he's a, an ambassador for them and also a distributor for the products he has tried it and determined that it is true it is true it's the truth one of his customers described the product as being the truth one other customer said that it opened the floodgates all right and testimonies after testimonies people have been singing its praises because it is effective very effective all right so what is the one day detox you may ask the one day detox is exactly that a one day detox <laughs> a joke all right so this is a mixture of greens you guys i'm gonna say greens and herbs <coughs> this is a mixture of herbs that you actually take one go you take the entire bottle it's a eight ounce um eight fluid ounce bottle that you just drink down and when i say drink down you you're done because it, fast you have to drink it down fast why because this is um all natural herbs mm -hmm. and they are it's not no chemically treated herbs or anything it's just real herbs like what we used to get in jamaica um what we mother used to call wash out mm -hmm. and so the taste of it is not con um um, you know, they didn't counterfeit the cheat, the taste or try to mimic or mask the or taste. Sweeten it, or sweeten it, used it. To. There's no sugar, there's no nothing. It has garlic in it, so that's a done deal. Mm -hmm. But the effect that it, you get in your body after you take your your detox, mm -hmm. within 15 to 30 minutes, it begins to operate and it begins to flush your system out totally and it does not stop until the entire system um the entire bottle of product has run through your system mm -hmm. and so guys i can only advise you that when you are detoxing you do not leave your home to go anywhere and if you know you have a toilet that is not working please go to somebody else where the toilet works or if you only have one toilet in your house ask everybody else to leave the house yeah nobody else can use it because it does work no for most people, they, 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 they are they're used to buying products that tell you take a pill, then drink a million gallons of water, water yeah. and, and over seven days and it's all of that. Listen, none of that. Once you take that product, you, you basically empty your system of all, everything mm -hmm. for that day. And by the next day, you are right as rain. The product does not give you um cramps it doesn't make your stomach uncomfortable it just makes you know you know beyond the shadow of a doubt that you want to go as a matter of fact if you're not go it'll come same way mm -hmm. so you know the whole point is it's a wash out but guys it's available on the market and of course i am an official um you know distributor for the company which is a jamaican company out of fort lauderdale florida mm -hmm. and of course they have a website you can look up green valley but I also am marketing the products, and so guys, you can, you know, purchase through me. No, you please, please, there. please purchase the product from Yardy Belly TV. Now, purchasing the product from Yardy Belly TV does does two things. It, it it helps to offset our cost, operational cost, and also, I mean, we are all trying to do something to get by. They have been very gracious with me, and so the price point is very good. And as a matter of fact, I am a little bit cheaper than what you would normally get online uh if you're in the u.s shipping is is free mm -hmm. and of course if you're in my local neighborhood which is florida central to south florida um you can also get delivery if you want that so guys it is what it is kim kim with there we're not done cook we're not done cook kim kim with there and just so you guys see what the the product is um consisting of it has water as the main ingredient Moringa, dandelion, king of the forest, soursop leaf, guinea hen weed, um, jack in the bush. You have. You can't see. You can't see. Jack in the bush. You have inflammation weed. You have your leaf of life, aloe vera, tuna, which is garlic pear. Tuna is cactus pear. Right garlic verbane which is blue verbane blue verbane star of anise and cinnamon so right there and then you see this is all things from mother nature 
As a matter of fact, blue vervain is one of the, the, the products that is in it that soothes your stomach. Mm. You know, because blue vervain does that. And these are some of the things that it claims to address. It, it's an energy booster. It helps if you have a poor diet. It helps if you have body odor. It helps if you have constipation, pain in the chest and stomach. It helps to cleanse your lungs, kidney, liver, and is also used to burn belly fat. And Blue verbene helps to cleanse your lungs of mucus. Guys, this is important. It has been proven. This is something that you can look up on Google. And this is why verbene is one of those plants that people are associating with a cure for the coronavirus. Mm. Or not a cure, but also a treatment. Because we know that if you get the virus, one of the, the symptoms is that the, the mucus in your body starts to harden and become plastic. Verbean as a plant, you boil it and you drink it. And, and it is said, again, Google it, check it out for yourself. It is said to help to remove, re remove mucus. Mm -hmm. from your body including your lungs and so this product guys i cannot i cannot the reason why i'm selling it is because i believe in it i swear just as though i i 100 believe in this because i know where it come from i literally go to the man yard who make this so it's not products that we just get and say well we're gonna sell it's products that we take products that we use products that we believe in and so again you can support me by getting this my email is rev saying hope let me see if i can type it in Rev Saint Hope. Rev Saint Hope at, at gmail.com. Gmail you can also find me on Instagram Yardy at Yardabella TV. DM me on Instagram, Yardabella TV. After you, you follow me, follow and then DM. Mm -hmm. I'm on Facebook at Yardabella TV as well. Mm -hmm. So check it out and you can talk to our Insta, um, Etsy R2. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I saw. Come see food ready, you know? Food ready, man. Somebody asking if can Jody said if she can use a detox in a smoothie. We wouldn't Jody, recommend it. I would it. not recommend that, you know, Jody. <laughs> mm -mm. Because the detox I don't play. Cheese and peace. Watch the something, man. Mm -mm. Guys, trust me, it want more gravy. You, you look at time over there, I talk about the detox, the gravy, gravy down in a baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah, can you believe it's the gravy, gravy down? And I can't see it good because of the because of the steam. Smoke. Hold on. Once the gravy go in there, look at water go in there. Mm. I'm use my shot glass so I can measure my water. All right, so <clears throat> by the time we share out the rice and the stuff, you know, to go with it, Ooh. this I go ready. Jeez, um, Jody, you want some? You know what Jody want. Jody, drive come. Tell Orion to come. Say, madam. Watch him, man. Watch him, man. Dart say just sold them on the detox. Bless up, bless up, bless up. Whoa. Monster. No, man. May I try master taste cause we... Jody just yeah. drink fast man. Just drink fast. I tell you the best way to do it is just to shut it. Them self cover your nose if you don't want taste. Yeah. But look at that. Mm -hmm. This is ghetto oxtails. Yeah. Oxtail. This is ghetto oxtail. oxtail. Original turkey yeah. neck with butter bean. I may mean, tell you. Babes, it ready, you know, baby. Where you wait for it ready, you know. I've maybe been on one, you know, my girl. Mm. Please, um, please. Alright, so mm -hmm. you guys are going to see the plating live and direct. Wanna you know what live and direct mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. First, we have one of these are my favorite. No lie. The miniature ones are my favorite, and then this one. Yeah. All right, guys, we're going to plate the food and then, you know, we call it a day because we know we have enough family. I don't want to talk about the George Floyd thing and thing and thing. We appreciate the support. Yeah? We appreciate the support, guys. 
we really love and appreciate guys and remember guys i am live on radio tomorrow evening at five i'm gonna put the information in the chat the radio shell when i listen guys shell Let me put the information in the chat. I like cutting cucumbers on the bias for some reason. Mind you cut your hand, that's just how I'm here tell you, I'm in now, the doctor right now, like my um, turkey neck, you know. I thought you were wrong. Oh, you know, yes. that one time me and my sister were playing and she cut her hand bad so that she had to go get stitches. And my mother still beat. Did she get beaten? I think so. But I think it was because mom had, had to, le to leave the um the pot. She was no, cooking. but it, it's hurt. It she, hurt. Was, she was in the middle of cooking dinner and she had to leave the pot and go to the ER. Oh, no, no. Me, me left my pot right now, so try not cut. Me not thinking if I cut anymore or that something there. See, babe, I'm a professional. See, 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 see. I'm not thinking if you cut no more. That's something there. Babe, I'm a professional. Guys, you hear how much time I want to? My mother always said to obey is better than sacrifice. G! <laughs> see, 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 see. Stop, stop, <laughs> just stop. Let me try to do it. Why do you questioning my skills and abilities? Why? You can't tell me? Why? Grass kitchen streams in 20 minutes, fam. <laughs> bless mm -hmm. up, bless up. Maldi, you, 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 you watch, watch Ross? You know how long we watch Ross? A long it. time. I don't know where I watch Ross. What did they, what are they streaming on? YouTube? Yeah. We watch Ross from long before no, streaming at one. From, from, from Matty Young. <laughs> All right, may I share the food then? Oh, that's, that's what I'm going to watch Ross. Kitchen right away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm big up the, the dread, um, dread mocha. Remember me tell you? All right, babes. Mm -hmm. Come. Alright guys. Stay tuned for the live plating. Come on, baby. Are you are doing are you are doing this? Me? Yeah man, are you are do this man. I want to the girl, yeah, man. <laughs> I don't girl. think this type of rice can sit. Why you not think it can sit? Everything can sit. Jelly. Yeah. Everything can All sit. Alright guys, what's the trick now? This is how you give them the five star restaurant presentation. You find a small container with a nice shape to create the mold. Or and you press down. You have a press down. Ah, you the rice that burn me. Where is wicked in? And I mix up rice. Uh, guys, normally I do some rice and peas you want with the, with the something. But true, I eat healthier. I'm trying to eat healthier. Mm -hmm. You know? All right. So then you take up the plate. You turn the plate upside down. Just go so. Now you leave that in there. You're not trouble that. Yeah, leave that, make it go and sit. Should I take off the flash, babe? If you want to. Let me see what I look without the flash. Flash or no flash? No flash, that is, and this is flash. Prefer that? Mm -hmm. Now we have our greens. Mm-hmm. Just make your plate look healthy, you know? Mm -hmm. Put in the put in the something baby, the, the cooking. I should have put avocado to in about too much green, eh? Yeah. And make it look like man and goat. Like man and a goat in here. That me I try to tell you. Oh, they will put three at the cucumber because they don't want to overdo nothing, isn't it? Right, 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 right. Isn't it? Right, 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 right. Look on that, people. But please, I need something right. Come here, tell you, man. Put some salt. Now for the presentation, I want it look like ox still so. I'm going to make sure to take out some broad piece, you know? Oh! Yeah. Mm. 
Get fit and done. Good day to you too, sir. Welcomes, mm. welcomes. Carrot done. It's um, ox tail. I mean, get a ox tail. Mm -hmm. Where where is the where is the spoon for this, babe? Oh what? Give me a second, guys. Guys, give us some seconds. I just rinse off a bit of spoon, cause that slotted spoon, I make the, the, the gravy drip dash it all over. Just all over. Kina, you want some of that ox tail, yeah? Let me see, it look good. That Kina say? On the ways, yeah. This really look good. How much more piece for the green eye plate, see? Piece, something, something. One look a piece, I'll look a piece, piece so that it look like a tiny tail. Yeah, yeah. And then now, put some juice in around it. Here, 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 here. With somebody in a room at a table. Hmm. Wow. Lovely. Just a lovely. Then put a couple more pieces of carrot, make it look unbalanced. You have to put the carrot around. Roma there. Martina said, Wow. Put one more piece of that there, so. That look good, right? Yeah, but need let's cut back the meat so that it doesn't look like the slushy, slushy gravy. Yeah, make the meat. Hold on, give me a sec. Let me turn this upside down. Right. And then. Right. Sorry guys, with my hand clean, I wouldn't oh. normally touch up, touch up the food. Actually, I tried to do the thumbnail presentation. How that look? Good. All right, now I'm going to have to grab a piece of tissue. Guys, very important. You have to clean your plate. Presentation is key. Now, guys, for the wait, 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 no, rice molding. Shift over a little bit, we need some more edge, yeah, right? Why? Now, because my one, the plate, the edge of the plate balance. Don't worry about it, I got it in a bit, I got it. Pro chef tips. <laughs> uh, uh, that looks outstanding. I'll take two to go. <laughs> Dart. <laughs> Where the tomato? Just put these two. One where, on either where? side of the rice. No, I'm mean, not to put them on the oh. You're gonna first stand up. Why standing up? Mm. No need to stand up, man. Just... We don't want them to cut no wings. They make them still like wings. No, low me, low my rice. Ta da! Guys, oh, we say. See right here. Wait, wait, man, come, oh, come. We say. Five star plate. What was that? This is our ghetto ox tail, guys. We don't even have chaff to tell with the price. Run there. It's our nice $8 food. That's all? Yeah, when we say a, a, a turkey neck, you know, you go like an ox tail. No, sir. They don't pay more. Well, and there. Guys, this make anything look like it fancy. Little greens. All right, that don't need no more. No more. Yeah. Let me move the pot now out of the way. Look, look at this, guys. Our wild rice. Yeah. With our ghetto ox tail, which is our brown stew turkey neck. And we have on the side some greens, which is a combination of Chinese spinach and Chinese kale sauteed. And we have some cucumbers and two wings of tomato. Divine. Divine. Oh, if you ever see it on this. Oh, la la. Nice man. $15 plate. Now you're talking, official Jamie. How this live miss me. Miss, Missy? Missies. <laughs> miss. Why help me? I don't know how the live miss you. We have to go watch it back from the top. For real, for real, because you have to see how we turn 
um, just a little bit of turkey neck into this delicious wannabe oxtails. Get a oxtail. Get a oxtail. Nikki Sadi. Say it look delicious. Mm hmm Kim Kim say it look good. My mouth is watering. Yummy yummy. <laughs> <laughs> no, so Ashley said it look good, good. <laughs> that look outstanding. Oh, I'll take two to go. Yeah guys, this is it, you know. Dinner. You want you want you want a sample plate, see? Dinner for a winner. Mm-hmm. Alright, I'm not putting no rice or nothing in there. I'm just put two pieces of oxtail. You look like prayer kid gone, but prayer kid, if he was here, this is what we meant when we say you put a variety of stuff on the plate so you don't end up with a bunch of like a half plate of rice and half plate of meat. So a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And yeah, good to go. Hey Joshua, did Joshua, you want to come stand for this? Yes, Josh, come. He's not really a fan, guys, of this type of food. So if he likes it, he already know what it is. And I'll get the real deal. And I'll get the true, the true review right now. Come on. Joshua think it's gross to eat turkey neck. This well balanced. <laughs> Real. Jojo said, look good. Joshua, Hubby try one of them something, man. Just try one day, get it, Wait, not wait till him. mommy tell you now. <laughs> I'm glad he's not here. <laughs> him there, <man>. Ooh, Who <laughs> said that? <laughs> you know. What a rice. <laughs> no, no rice thing. Just, just get a boy at something. Give him some of thing. Sample plate enough though. I just three pieces. Stop smelling the food. My it bunny, you know. There's no meat on there. So that's your fret boat? I mean, <laughs> it doesn't taste bad. <laughs> but? <laughs> it doesn't taste bad, but would I eat this consciously? Like in a conscious. If you like turkey next, then you're probably gonna love this so much. <laughs> yeah, proper review. Can we get a proper review? Yeah, I really review. review. I can't review this. I don't. It's supposed to I don't know how it's supposed to taste. Well, you know, of good food here, so. It, it, it tastes like oxtail. It tastes similar, yeah. That means so we're, we're plucked. The we're sauce pot. is good. The sauce is good. The sauce is good. That means so we win, can we? Him can mm -hmm. win, huh? We don't need no more argument from that boy, yeah. <laughs> you know that? From him, say the sauce tastes good, what we that? We're boss. We're bingo. If you eat turkey neck, you're going to be hungry a few minutes later. What? Why am thinking said it's not filling? You know how satisfying it is to even get down to the bones? We don't care about meat. The bones. The what bones. Is? That's the highlight. Guys, if the highlight of eating turkey neck for you is the meat, let me say meat. And if it's the bones, say the bones. You can swallow bones. You don't have to swallow it for enjoy it. Okay, then you're that's why you're not gonna you're not gonna be full. Mm. Well, and everything I eat for before, you eat things for the experience. Oh, it tastes good. No business with Joshua. This is the one time I'm going say, yeah, my food eat good. <laughs> it's soft. The bone, not all that soft. Because I'm going to cook it, cook it, cook it. Miss CC says, have you ever done the turkey neck in substitute for pigtail in stew peas? Yep. Oh, yeah. We have. But somebody don't like it. No, don't really like it. It's both for me. Meat. Ashley said, it's both for me. The bone and the meat. <laughs> <laughs> Official JB, I said, all of it. Jojo said, bones. Yeah, team bones around here. Joshua, you have your life gone. Can you just have pick one? Oh, it's just bones. Oh, oh. Right, yes, one. My girl, sell me a sell now. Five dollars, oh, five dollars for a piece. Take the little piece there. No, and the little one, the oko one. Mm -mm. This one look like axial tuna. Talk it short. 
Guys, the mm-hmm. whole evening that, that you have a year. The whole entire evening you have a year, people are suck, are suck bone. Oh, that's not that way. This? You turn it around? It's a winner. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is a winner. Mm-hmm. Tastes good. Mm-hmm. No, man. I like it. But I mean, I'm not more of a table. Does oxy on my mind? I mean, turkey neck. So, guys, one last look. Get the ox tail, we say. Which is our turkey neck, brown sugar down, and some nice gravy sauce with the wild rice. Chinese greens on the side, cucumbers over there, and tomato up there. And guys, one more thing. You have to be careful on to cook it because if you know, say for instance, it pressure, if you use the pressure cooker, you have to be aware of time because the meat will fall totally off the bone and leave the bone stark in the pot. You can end up with a, a plate of slush. So be aware of that and, and check your cooking time. You know? Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Mr. Mm. Give me a piece of bread and send me in bed. Mm-hmm. My girl, you're not supposed to bite the bone on the camera like how you have video tape, you know. That's why you're not talking. Mm. You're the peer whom the whole time. Hmm. 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 Look who is talking, guys. Look who attack. Guys, have yourself a great day. Remember, pray over your family, pray over your loved ones. Get up in the morning and just thank God for life. Remember, guys, things are not always what they seem. Do not get caught in the crowd. Always take the path that is least treaded, treaded or treaded. Mm-hmm. And remember the Lord bless you and keep you and make him peace shine upon each and every one of you mm-hmm. and give you his peace. Have yourself a good evening. Remember to log on tomorrow at 5 on the CaribbeanRadio.com and that's where my show is called Vitamin B. Blessings to each and every one. A peace. And as soon as you guys, you know, get out of this live, remember to go to etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash one true natural and order your hair products and remember to shoot yardy belly tv a dm to get your cleanse we are head to the post office tomorrow morning so you want to catch the first shipment i'm never go tomorrow morning guys because tomorrow maybe midday i'm going to take my cleanse so you know say all road all road traveling done tomorrow so please all right one last look Sing a song for this. Put on your red dress. Mm-hmm. Step in your eye and right. Someone I perfume. Sure. So good on you. Right, done, done, done. <laughs> anyway, guys, have a lovely evening. Thanks again for watching, and we will catch you again on Thursday morning for breakfast live at 10 a.m. Awesome sauce. Something said.